So, it's clear that the Paranormal Activity franchise is one of the biggest in horror film history. Um, we're now going to take a close look at the trailer for that. I'm going to pay close attention to certain codes, um, such as camera techniques, framing, lighting, exposure, um, symbolism uh, that we're going, to, we're going to find in there, the setting, the mise-en-scene, and very important, the titles, of course, um, since it is a trailer. Uh, this is the first Paranormal Activity film. Uh, so here's the trailer. Hi, Duff. Camera on. My girlfriend, Katie, she thinks there's something in the house. I don't know. You believe me, right? Doors are locked, alarm is on. If anything walks through here, it's going to leave a pretty good footprint. When did you hear that? Oh, my God. There's footsteps in, but there's no footsteps out. You cannot run from this. It will find you. This woman, same things happen to her. Oh god. I feel the breathing on me. Looks like something big here. You stop following me with the camera! I'm in control. You don't Paranormal activity. Rated R. You demanded it. Now playing in theaters everywhere. So, looking back at the Paranormal Activity trailer there, we can see why it was such a big hit in the box office, um, and why Paranormal Activity is now one of the biggest horror franchises in the world. Um, a few things I'm taking away from that trailer, uh, first impressions, are it's done on a handheld camera, showing it's a home video, lots of hose packing shots, very amateurish looking. Um, but then in a professional way, obviously that's the way it's been written. Um, the shots are very believable, it's all set in a house. Um, you know, we can all relate to that, it's, it's something that uh, it could happen to us, that's the, the scary thing about it. Um, quite relatable, in fact, to the Hitchcock movies where he followed that trend and that's why that was so successful, or later on anyway. One theory I'm going to be looking closely at is the suspension of disbelief theory. Uh, I've got a quote here off the internet, um, I'll reference it on the screen now. In a world of fiction, you're often required to believe a premise which would never accept in the real world, especially in genres such as fantasy and science fiction. Things happen in the story which you would not believe if they were presented in the newspaper as fact. Even in, a, a, in more real world genres such as action movies, the action routinely goes beyond the boundaries of what you would normally think would happen. So what we're saying here is that um, in a lot of movies, things happen which are ridiculous. You know, a spaceship crashing into a city, what we hope is ridiculous. Um, but we go along with it for the sake of enjoying the movie. It's a, a subconscious thing, which we all do. Um, I think this is really relevant with the Parallel Activity video, uh, especially this trailer we've seen already. A lot of the things you could sit there and watch that trailer and go, that's ridiculous. It would never happen. But no one does that because there's no point. If you're going to pay to watch a movie, you're going to, you're going to go along with it and enjoy it. Or if it's a horror film, maybe not much, not so much enjoy it. But uh, looking at this, there's things in that trailer which are unbelievable. Um, or a lot of people would see as unbelievable. The door closing on its own, the, uh, the body flying through the air, the duvet willowing on its own. Um, we go along with it, we, we accept that uh, there is something else in that room or something else in that house causing that um, and that is the suspension of disbelief theory. Some of the visual things I've taken away from this trailer already are uh, things such as the tiles, uh, the tiles that come crashing in um, with that sort of visual noise analogue TV effect um, and the sound to go with it as well. Um, quite a few of these are quotes to start off with as well from uh, magazines, uh, film magazines and film critics and whatnot. Uh, the other thing is that, that visual noise that you know you get on an analogue TV, um, if you've lost signal or something you get the, the grey, black and white shaking. Um, they've made use of that in the editing of this film, um, it's used quite a lot and especially goes well with the sound um, that comes with that as well. Um, the titles experience it yourself, three separate titles that flash up um, with a corresponding crash as well in between the, the sections of heartbeat, montage, 
uh, footage. Um, very effective. It's addressing the audience directly, um, looking at, uh, you know, come watch this film, buy a ticket. It's a trailer, it's an advertisement, that's what it's meant to do. And I think it does that very well. So there you are, evidence of this trailer addressing the audience directly. Um, a good advertisement technique there. Another thing I'm taking away from this uh, trailer is one of the few climaxes at the end, uh, which one was the crashing door, the slam door at the end. Um, that the, the door slammed and it went into paranormal activity with a, um, a shaky effect on the text. I thought that was really effective. Really loud bang crash uh, sound with it as well. It was, you know, this is the sort of thing that sticks in my mind after the trailer. Um, and the sort of thing I'm going to have to look into, into putting into my uh, horror film teaser trailer as well. Um, but most of all, for a horror film, is that flying body at the end. The way it knocks the, the camera off the tripod. Uh, we sort of finish with a shot of the ceiling looking up um, as the camera has been knocked off. Very spooky, very scary. If you look really closely, um, whether it was down to a low budget thing or not, but looking at the door before the body appears, flying backwards, there's nothing there. Whether that's to do with the horror side of things or maybe it's a mistake, I don't know. Um, but it is something that I picked up on uh, watching that trailer. All in all, I think the trailer was very effective, um, very impressed by it, and I hope to produce something similar or take away certain points from it um, and put them into my uh, teaser trailer for a horror film.